Wedge game is absolutely on fire right now. Game is not as good as it should be. You're probably asking yourself right now, like, why, why should I not click off of this video? We're here by myself at my local Muni course, starting a new series that I am titling Project Dry Joy. And why is it Project Dry Joy? I have some foot joy, dry joys that I bought a few months ago. They weren't a good deal, but I told myself, you cannot wear these until you break 80. I made this a challenge because I've almost done it a few times, but I haven't quite done it. I've hit 82 a few times, but I haven't been able to hit that elusive 79. That's what the goal is. The goal is breaking 80 to essentially unlock the dry joys that I bought a few months ago. The 165 wind is straight into off the right. It's kind of gusting though. So I have the six iron just to take a little bit more club, make sure I get it there. But I'm also going to choke down. Pins in the back, so I don't want to be long. So short is better, but I'm still going to club up and just choke down a little bit. Spin a little right, sit, stay up. All right, just off the front. Short right. Like I said, pins in the back and we missed short. Going with the pitching wedge, just need to get up on that top tier. Don't want to be short of that tier. Play a bump and run, let it roll out. All right, we got it up there. Okay, we got it up there on the tier. Still a little tester. About, I don't know, six feet, seven feet. Got these. Taylor Maids yesterday. I usually play the tour response with the 360 line, but I got all these different colors now. So I'm rocking with the blue one. I kind of like it. I'm just worried about how hard, how hard like the maroon will be to see whenever it gets stuck in the leaves. Got to take putts a little bit more seriously doing this than I do whenever I'm scrambling with Braylon. Can't really tell what this is doing. So I'm just gonna play it right at the hole and hopefully it falls. Oh, and I hit it freaking long. That's not a great start. I knew the alignment was off. It looked like to me though I was gonna miss right at the hole. That's why I readjusted. Knock this in for a bogey. All right. That's one over through one. Not a great start. Not how we want it to start out. But like I said, my alignment was a little funky on that putt. And I, I kind of thought I was going to miss it out right because the way I was looking down at it, it looked like I was going to miss it right. But I guess not because I readjusted and I aimed a little left and where I missed it. Coming up on a par three, 150 yards again and straight into the wind. So I'm going to go up one club going with a seven iron. I don't mind being short because it's going to be an uphill putt. Anything past this pin is going to be kind of dead. Just want to make good contact. And that's the contact we didn't want that'll be a shank. Sometimes I get so uncomfortable over a ball and I just know, I, I know what's coming. And it's probably part of the reason why I do end up shanking it because I think I'll shank it. And then it just happens. It just happens right away. We have about 63 yards here. Wind's still into us. He's gonna play a nice little soft one. Hopefully stick it close for a par. Great shot. What a shot. Can't say I mind hitting a shank whenever I throw an absolute dart like that right after. If you could guarantee me a dart like this after every shank tee shot, I'll shank every tee shot for you. Ugh. Short par four here. These guys are letting you play through. Gonna try to get this tee shot off pretty quick. Be on my merry way. Pretty good shot. Maybe they'll ask me why I'm videoing and I can gain some back nine Frank subs. Probably not, but wishful thinking. 106, we're gonna go with a full 50 degree. It's a little wet here. Hopefully I don't wanna chunk it and end up in the water. Or thin it in the water, sick. Just to get out of their way, I'm gonna drop over here. It's no closer to the hole, just off to the side.
another great wedge wedge game is absolutely on fire right now just can't freaking hit a full shot if i can hit a ball full i'd be doing pretty dang well right now hit four this is for bogey I gotta make this I have some sort of hope hope and then i gotta learn how to hit an iron real quick <sighs> just can't make a putt double three over through three Another par four. This is gonna be a straight into wind drive. You gotta go kind of like right at, take it over the water, cut it along the trees. Ah, it spun up into the wind. Just sit before the trees. It's like for some reason I have my anti left swing going and I haven't hit a single ball left. I don't know why I'm so afraid to hit a left right now. This is gonna leave us a long way into the green. Let's figure out how to hit an iron real quick, huh? 175, I have a six iron. Again, you don't want to be long here. That road comes into play real quick. So six iron, if it's short, then that's okay. Spinning everything to the right. Gonna be right off the cart path struck it well just spinning everything hit it right in the middle and i know i know my problem now my swing path but my brain won't let me fix it i gotta get up and down for a par here if i don't get up and down chances of shooting 79 are slim to none it's already slim to none considering i'm already three over through three but there's still a chance gotta stop slicing every single club in my bag right now okay not a horrible spot we got a lot of green to work with I'm going with the 50 degree, still want some spin on it, but I need it to kind of release a little bit because I don't want to throw it back there. I don't have that kind of, that kind of skill set. And I just didn't, caught it right off the toe, went nowhere. I got to make this putt for a par. I spark something. Come back left. Slamming them. These greens are so much faster than they used to be. They've done great work on them, but man, I'm not used to this at all over here. All right, I guess this is gonna be moving pretty good. Not too much break. All right, perfect speed, perfect line, perfectly four over through four. This is the hole that turns it around. We got a pretty short par five. It's a hard dog leg left. Everything you see in front of you literally does not matter for this hole. Dog legs hard left at about 220 yards. We're going with a hybrid. Try to get it right at that turning point. Ah, or not. We got some work to do. About 163 to the last tree on the left. I'm gonna take an eight iron. I'm going right over this tree. I'm just gonna put it right in the fairway. I'm not saying hopefully, I'm saying going to do it. That's exactly what I'm doing. Perfect. Yep. Just the way I drew it up. All right, I said the last shot was the one that's gonna turn it around. That shot's turning it around right there. I felt something that I wasn't feeling before. Got my hands closer. Even though I thought I was keeping my hands close, I guess I wasn't, but that was, that was crisp. That was nice. Put one on the green here and let's make a birdie, man. Not as good a position as I thought it would be. It is the fairway, so that's good. But we got 193 to the flag. Got all these trees in my way. I'm gonna take a hybrid. Hybrid's been cutting. I mean, every, every one of my clubs have been cutting except for that last shot. Let's just hit one to the left side of the green. Hopefully it cuts back in. And that's a little burner. Just sit, don't go in the water. It's gonna be left. I hit that ball right in the middle. Right in the middle of the ball. But we progressed it forward and we can still get up and down for a par. At the end of the day, not horrible. This should be baseline data because I highly doubt I'm gonna break 80 today. Game is not as good as it should be. Been playing too many scrambles, not enough own balls. We're we'll breaking 80 soon. We've short-sided ourselves a little bit. We have a little bit of green to work with, but I'm going with a 58 degree. Let's try to play a little chippy one. Give us ourselves give ourselves a decent look at par. Green slopes left to right. I'm going to play it out left a little bit. Hopefully it comes back down. 
settle, spin, come down. All right, not bad. Looks like it's like a club. Pin high, got a little bit of work. It's going to be a downhill putt. These are the ones that even whenever you are playing well, are going to make a break of score. These little 10 footers right here. I'll tell you what though, if I could say anything positive about my game today, it's that my wedges are pure today. I am hitting my wedges better than I think I've ever hit them in my life. We got to make the other parts of my game a little bit better. Catch up with that for par. Go in, go. Let's go. Those are huge. Those are huge. Let's carry that momentum into this hole. We got a par three. 146 is what I was reading. I don't know if that's like 100% accurate. It looks a little longer. Wind is also into. We're going with a seven. Hold it a little bit. Sit. All right, game is not as good as it should be. Definitely not our worst shot of the day. We can work with that. Let's get that up and down from far. Go in. Oh, man. And it's so long. Thank God it hit the flag. It would have been even longer. It's another tester, another break, make or break situation. Do I make this or do we fall four over through six? I'm betting on the second, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna try. Hammered it, sit, sit, don't go down that hill. Oh my goodness, man. It's like, I just know, I, I, I know I'm hitting them hard, but at the same time, I can't get myself not to. That last putt was like the only one. Well, and the one before that, but you get the idea. This being a muni course that I used to play at often, and the greens were not that great, them being in this condition, I'm not used to. And that breaks that way. Just like that, a par turns to a double bogey. You're probably asking yourself right now, like, why, why should I not click off of this video? You're playing a horrible. Because the thing is, whenever you look back, whenever you look back on this day, on the first episode of Project Dry Joy, you're watching me. I just shot a 79. The next round I play, I'm going to strap up the Dry Joys. And I'm going to look sick as hell. You're going to ask yourself, man, what would have happened if I had clicked off that video and never watched Back Nine Frank again? Well, I'll tell you what would have happened. Your life would have sucked. Life would have sucked because you wouldn't have Back Nine Frank in your life. Stick around until I break 80. That's all I'm asking. Just stick around. It's going to happen. It might take a year, but it's going to happen. All right, warming up a little bit. You probably saw me sweating in the cart cam. Got a bunch of new golf clothes for Christmas. This one looks pretty nice. A little like maroon, pink, and black slash dark gray action going. A little Callaway action. We got a par four. Need to hit a good drive, and then we'll go from there because uh, the iron game is not, not working out for me. A little low off the face, but it'll work. Chase down the fairway a little bit. Ran out a little, but I hit that so thin, I'm surprised they even got it off the ground. I think part of my problem is the fact that I've gone through so many swing changes just this year alone. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm getting better with my swing. Every swing change has required me to stand in a different spot or hold a different grip. And I haven't really pieced everything together yet. My contact's a lot better overall, having to piece it together and I'm kind of forgetting my grip every time. I'm forgetting where to stand on the ball or how far back or how forward and back in my stance I need to be. But we're getting there. I mean, for that to be a bad miss off of my driver face, that's a pretty good bad miss. All right, wind's finally at my back. 182 left to the flag. There's room in the front, pins in the back. I'm going with a six iron. Hopefully I hit this about, I don't know, 170, 175. Really try to turn it over here. Keep that club face square. Pretty good. It's our first green in regulation, I think. And even if it's not, it sure feels like it. Not a great shot, but still a pretty good one. We landed it just off the green and the fringe. Better shot than I thought it was, but I wish I'd have gotten up over here in the back of the green. Cause we've got this little slope to work with. Doesn't look like it's gonna break a whole lot, but I, it'll, it'll still break a decent bit. Never gets there when you hit it off the toe. For the par. I 
believe that takes me seven over through seven. Bogey golf was not the goal today. Bogey golf isn't bad golf, but it's certainly not break 80 golf. I need 10 strokes less than that. Another par five in front of us. Another dog leg. This one isn't as drastic as the other par five, but it definitely still turns left. So I'll go with a lot. Three wood. There's water on the left. There's water on the right. Both come in probably about 230, 240. So I'm just going to play a light three wood, something I can get a good club on and just put it in the fairway. And that's all we needed. I think. Still have about 285 yards to the green. I'm going with a hybrid. Poke something down there and give myself a good look at the green. Popped it up, but it's going to be okay. Yeah, it went straight. Just kind of chunked it a little bit, popped it straight up in the air. 152 yards to the flag, not where we want it to be, but it's not bad either. But at least we still caught a piece of the fairway. I got a seven iron, it's a little into wind. Let's see if we can get this there. So we uh, kind of topped that one. 78 yards, I got a pitching wedge, a little light one. Get over. Awesome. I got a 58 degree, it's on an uphill. Try to toss it up, pick it nice and close. Nope. We're bogey. That's just, there's an arrow. So. Ah, and there's another double. Safe to say 80 isn't happening today. That was a lousy attempt. Very much over par right now. There's zero chance I break 80 because I feel like I'd have to birdie out on the back. So we're going to call it after this hole. Enjoy this final hole, but there will be more to come. I have to unlock the dry joys because I'm not letting myself wear them until I break 80. Stay tuned. On the back nine, I'll probably do a two ball scramble with myself and see what I can score. Pretty good. You made it this far into the video. First of all, I appreciate it. Second of all, if you're not subscribed and you made it this far, you might as well. Because if you're willing to watch this, you're gonna enjoy a lot of the other stuff on the channel as well. Just don't go in the bunker, please. Just outside the bunker, a lot of grass. I gotta kinda just stab at it and pop it straight up. Pretty good. That's for par. At least we'll end on a good note. Alright guys, again, please like and subscribe if you made it this far. Played like dog. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. To so finish with a par. Stick around for the two ball, own ball scramble. One more time. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for showing. That was a horrible showing from me, but it's gonna get better. We're gonna break 80. We're gonna unlock the dry joys. Project dry joy to the moon. We need Braylon. We need Braylon back.